YouTube, welcome to Guitar Vocalist. The channel is all about singing and playing guitar at the same time and just being a confident, self-reliant musician. So if you're new here, you like what you see in here, be sure to toss a like or a subscribe. It's a great way, easy way to support me and what I'm doing. So today I really want to talk about why it is that rock music in 2020, right now it's 2020, it's actually coming to an end, uh, why rock music is still my favorite genre after basically two decades of me being active and listening to music or maybe more uh, why is it still my favorite genre and for the purposes of the video I really put rock and metal under the same umbrella I know they're not the same thing but I think that putting them under the same kind of category uh, is worth it for this video because they've both been on a decline over the past 10 years and they've both been kind of uh, uh, they both have a lot of similarities and overlap. So the number one reason why I still listen to rock is that it's just it's just raw, unfiltered, often comes from the underground, and it just has this real genuine human emotion and energy, which you just kind of don't see in the homogenized pop music of today. Like rock bands and classic rock music and everything having to do with rock pretty much was recorded with a band where they basically had to uh, not use auto-tune, they all had their own guitars, their own sounds, and there was just a varied sound. Like if you listen to ACDC versus Metallica versus Guns N' Roses versus, uh, I don't know, Skid Row, whatever, any band, they had different sounds. Like the hi-hat sounded different, the bass sounded different, the guitar, everything sounded different. Now if you turn on a pop song, notice how they're all using the same sample drums for the most part. Like the hi-hat sounds the same in like all the top 40 hits right now, pretty much. So... It's, it kind of homogenizes the sound. It's not even about simplicity of the music or about like pop music is lame or any of that. It's like just the sounds are so similar. So it's all homogenized. And this is also in part to do with the fact that we had a lot of uh, kind of monopolization of the music industry. So that really played a large role as well. And basically who determines what the sounds are are way less people than they were 30 years ago or 20 years ago even. And the thing is, stemming back to the blues influence and everything, the imperfections of the sound without auto-tune and all of that really made rock music feel real, even if the guy messed up every now and then. Auto-tune just sucks the life out of it because it's not like it's wrong to use it here and there sparingly, but for the most part, if you have like an over auto tune song, everyone just sounds the same. It's like, I don't know if it's me singing, I don't know if it's that guy singing, because it computerizes the sound and it corrects the pitch and it just sounds the same. A reason number two is the energy of rock music. I really like the vibe and energy. It's just when that chorus kicks in or that guitar sound or a solo or something gets played, you just you just want to get up and just, you know, just, just break a phone book in half or something. I don't know. You just want to really do something really energetic. And in today's music and kind of the vibe and where things are going... Uh, yeah, there's some pop song that's like jolly, hee hee, I'm partying and drinking shots all the time. And then there's also like a lot of kind of slower, like this kind of vocals, and you know, it's like, oh, I'm in so much pain and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying rock music doesn't come with angst, especially with grunge, for example. But uh, yeah, there's just a lot more, you just want to get up and like kind of kick someone's ass, you know, in a, in a positive way, just, just kick life's ass, you know, you just want to be like, energetic and that's something that I don't feel that true genuine raw energy from a lot of today's pop music and yeah that's, that's why I still listen to rock even today's rock I mean uh, even the more underground smaller bands that aren't so popular that you'd have to dig in Spotify to find I listen to those you know bands like Red Sun Rising or a more popular one is like nothing more or something these are bands that I'm like wow I feel that like that's that's real you know, if I listen to Katy Perry, Firework, I just kind of don't, I, it just can't compare, right? It might still be an uplifting song, but it's just, there's something about that energy. Or if you listen to like Ed Sheeran, uh, that song Thinking Out Loud, you know, he's singing about how he wants to grow old with some girl. Okay, that's that's great, that's fine. But then like, if you compare that to like an, an 80s song, late, late 80s song, like Skid Row, Youth Gone Wild, you know, the first opening line to that is, when I was born, they couldn't hold me down. You know what I mean? So... This guy, they couldn't hold him down, you know, and you're like, mm, that energizes me. And then there's this guy singing about how he wants to grow old with some girl, you know, and you're just sitting there fantasizing and he, he, he. And it's like, you know, obviously I'm picking very extreme, like kind of opposites, but at the same time, it's a little bit, 
I don't know, like, I kind of like that uplifting energy. And even if you take like a rock ballad from the 80s, like Love Bites by Def Leppard or Still Loving You by Scorpions, it's like, yeah, that guy, that guy loves the shit out of that girl, you know? Whereas the other guy right now, today, singing is kind of like, baby, I love you, yay. You know, and there's just that, there's just that oomph that's missing. I mean, I think a lot of you could probably vibe with that, I hope. Let me know down there, like, if, if this is something that you can actually, like, understand. I'm really curious. And reason number three why I listen to rock music, the final reason is, basically, uh, right now, the fact that it's not mainstream is actually, it, I would like it to be mainstream, it'd be nice, but on the other hand, it's kind of nice because the whole being a rock star persona and being fake uh, has been taken out of rock, which is actually a plus because then you have these real musicians making real music that aren't in it for just the image, you know? Now, you probably still have some that are in it for the image, but you get my point. And if you think about it technically, because of all the subcultures you have and the internet and how many more people exist on the planet since 1970, like there's over twice the people on the planet since then, and that means a lot more of a younger audience. And then when you think about how with Spotify and YouTube and all this, there's all these subcultures that listen to music. Uh, you actually have probably more rock listeners now than when rock was big in the 70s and 80s, you know, and even the 90s. You actually have probably more because of that. So in a lot of ways, it's actually better because you actually, you don't have to cater to everyone, but the people that do like rock, you can be a serious rock musician. So that's one little plus of it not being mainstream, although I would like for it to be mainstream. It'd be really nice. I would like more people to feel the just the energy, the, the, the energy that it gives rock fans. I'd like more people to feel that rather than being scared by, oh, it's so noisy. And what I did mention is a little bit annoying in the fact that I, I really wish if I'd grown up in the 70s, uh, I could hang out with like that cool kid that had all the records and you had to call into the radio to hear your favorite song to request it. And I'm sure that had like a really cool vibe and uh, I, maybe someone in my older audience here can kind of listen and say, yeah, I remember when I grew up in the 70s. I hope I'm accurate with this, but from what I've heard, you kind of couldn't just click and listen to a song. You had to like find a cool kid with the cool records and all that. So yeah, th that's the thing is that now, because back then you had to do all that work to listen to music and now you don't, one of the pluses is that actually you, you actually have so much access to rock music and as a rock musician, you can still have a pretty big audience without needing necessarily to be mainstream which I think is a plus in today's world, even though I would like for it to be mainstream, like I said. So to sum it all up, basically, I think the reason I still like rock is because I haven't been given a better alternative. Something that has that raw energetic punch and that just kind of lets you really grab life by the balls, you know what I mean? So yeah, let me know if uh, anybody else yeah feels that way. I'm really curious. And again, if you want to see more content like this, just uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, that's it. I'm going to sign out here because it's really dark and I'm going to see if I can brighten up this video, but we'll see.